So what I'm gonna be demonstrating is the augmented reality version, uh, which is available for any iOS devices that have an A12 chip or newer, uh, including the M1 chips, as well as you would have to be enrolled in, actively in our unlimited subscription. If you're involved with a, an enrolled in our unlimited subscription, you have access to these features. So I wanna go ahead and, and walk through that, this process. So the first thing that I wanna to note to you is that with our patient or client, we always want them in the most revealing clothing as possible. And nice to have a backdrop that doesn't have anybody walking behind it for obvious reasons. With computer vision, um, it will pick up humans, right? So if you're in a big crowd and you go to do this, the computer's gonna get confused not knowing who to focus on, right? So always never, uh, always have an environment where you don't have people walking behind, maybe a wall or a banner or something like that where there's no humans on that. This should be common sense. As soon as you start to use it, you'll pick that up pretty quick, but I wanna go ahead and belabor that point. Uh, clothing, they wanna be in the most revealing clothing as possible. When I was in practice, I had uh, patients change during their exams into shorts. Men had shorts, women had sports tops and shorts, um, and I would let them pick out which uh, fit them. And of course, the only side effect is that my staff had to do laundry every day, okay? But with that said, you could see body mar margins and contours. If they're in clothing, like he's in clothing now, just because we're making a video that it will go out to thousands and thousands of people, um, you can tighten up the shirt if it's not tight. So at least tuck it in, you can use clothes pins on the back, and we have a video on that as well too. Just some ideas, especially if you're out at a health screening event, how to get a little better uh, evaluation of their body contours. And that's really important if you use something like our lean screen module. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new exam. So the easiest way is if you're here, we can click new screening here, but if you're in a client list, you can hit the plus sign right here. So either way, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit new screening. Then you choose which screening you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and choose posture screen. And then you have to fill out this information simply just one time. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this information just one time. And he is, I already know his demographics. We're gonna go ahead and say he's 6'1". He weighs 155. And you can also use these little arrows to scroll through. So if I wanted to scroll through, and I know he was born in 79, okay? Now, the cool part about this is you always want to put in an email address if you can because we can send these to the, the client. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just go ahead and put my own email address here. And then what we're going to do is we start off with these four. We need at least two views or all four views. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit two views. And at this point in time, you may be prompted to give permission to the camera. Okay, if so, what you do is just click, always click okay, okay? Now notice, it's tracking me. If I can ask the client to move around a little bit, notice how it tracks them. So obviously, we're not gonna wanna have people walking around behind them, okay? So always keep an eye on the backboards. We wanna make sure the device is not rotated, which is very easy for staff to do. And you can see these turn green when you're, you're tilted in different directions. That's just to help, okay? It's not mandatory, but it's to help, okay? So when you get that assessment pretty lined up, just go ahead and click that snapshot. And then we're gonna ask the client to turn. You can see that it tracks them in real time. And we've even turned this some aspects of this on with our other devices, okay? So now we hit start digitization. Now at this point, if you need to uh, uh, adapt, and I, I had the client standing crooked here, if I need to move any points, I could drag a point and correct a point if I wanted to, okay? If I needed to move this down, I could do so. Now, I hit from the side view if I wanna correct any points, so I might be a little bit picky and I might wanna move this point a little bit forward or I wanna move this right to the EAM and move this up to the base center of the neck so that red line follows the neck. And then that's it. I am all done with the assessment. I can generate the report Right now we can only we have access only to a two-view report, and this would be more the patient-friendly 
uh, version. And of course, you can change the colors, you can change the, the text. There's a, everything that can be customized. You can even remove our logo with that. Um, so that's a basic two view assessment. Um, we have tutorials on emailing this to the patient, how to do your next reevaluation, how to do other modules uh, in this knowledge support uh, uh, database uh, online tutorial section that you're viewing this in. You can just go to the, the home page of it and search for whatever topic you're looking for. But that's how to use a two view assessment on PostureScreen. For any other additional questions, reach out to support at PostureScreen.com. Thank you.